Hey everybody, coming to you again today here with another Bible review. Uh, I've got my camera set up a little bit different today, so there might be some shakiness. I'm trying to figure out what's the best way of going about this. Uh, as far as the camera goes, I'm doing some uh, fairly new stuff, so just bear with me on that. Uh, today we're going to look at one that's brand new. Uh, these just came out. Uh, you may not even be able to find these in your Christian bookstore yet. But this is the Christian Standard Bible, and it's the day-by-day -day chronological Bible. And it has these readings, uh, and it's guided by Dr. George uh, Guthrie. Now, the one that they sent me is the Brown Leather Touch. Uh, Holman produces these. And from what I've seen on them so far, I've been uh, kind of looking at this one. It, it's really a good chronological uh, Bible. I like the format and the way they've done it. Uh, there's not many of these uh, Bibles that I get that I actually want to keep for myself, but this is definitely going to be one of them So I wanted to show you these kind of give you an idea of the box uh, It comes in a nice clamshell box as you can see uh, Here's the back. Here is the ISBN number as well as the cost. This says $39.99 Printed in Korea. So let's take this out and look at it As you can see it's got a really nice uh, dark tan, almost a chocolate colored uh, binding on it. It is perimeter stitched around the outside as well as got a little design here. On the back, you see that it says CSB, Day by Day Chronological Study Bible, or I'm sorry, Day by Day Chronological Bible. Another little imprinted design here, Christian Standard Bible and Holman down here at the bottom. And of course the back, you still see the little stitch uh, mark. And of course, like I said, it's perimeter stitching. Now, this is gold gilded, as you can see, all the way around. And it does come with one brown ribbon. So that's the outside of this. Now, inside you'll see that it does have a paste down liner. Uh, of course, here's your presentation page and all that. This is Smith's song. Um, as far as the font size, I don't know what the font size is on this. I'm going to say it's fairly large, at least a 10. Uh, that would be my guess. Okay, so as we start through this, I just want to show you a couple pages here. Uh, try to keep centered here in the camera. But here's your uh, introduction page, David Day Chronological Bible. Uh, and what, the way this is set up is... Um, it's set up in, in three different acts. Okay, it's not kind of, it's not like your traditional, uh, you know, day-by-day -day chronological study Bible where it has the books and all that. It's, it's set up in three acts, and each act has different scenes. Like, for one, here's act one, scene one. It's the creation, the God of all of life. Act two, scene two, the fall rejecting God's vision for life and it goes on down through here and it does this chronologically and I actually like I prefer this because it's more like a story as you read through it and uh, and so it's kind of unique in that aspect over here is your uh, publishers page of course it says all your publishers rights where it was printed uh, the binding this one, like I said, was printed in Korea this year. Uh, and it gives you some more ISBN numbers. And so, as we flip through this, I want to talk about the scenes <clears throat> and the different things. So here's the introduction by the uh, the man that, that helped do this. And he tells you about how, uh, you know, as you're reading it, uh, you read it kind of like a story. Uh, you don't get bogged down in passages that are hard to understand. And <laughs> it even gives an example of, of Lord of the Rings, uh, which is uh, one of my favorite. He says it's one of his favorite uh, trilogy books, and it's one of mine as well. But he gives a little story backdrop of Frodo and Sam telling some stories about, uh, well, they sing songs about them at the campfire. And uh, so anyways... Uh, that's in this little introduction to this. But anyway, here's uh, the beginning. Here's Act 1, God's plan for all people. And like I said, it's broken down in Acts, and it tells you a few things. 
kind of almost like a book introduction here. Uh, it's got the setting for Act 1. Uh, the main characters for Act 1, as you'll see, God, uh, the serpent, Adam and Eve, Noah and his family, the people of Babylon. And then here you have the plot summary for Act 1. It tells you about that. Now, it's broken down into weeks, uh, of course. Here's week 1. And then you'll have a, a day for reading, each day for reading. We'll get into that in a second. Uh, but it tells you here, this tells you what you're going to be looking at in week one. Now, here's the beginning. Here's where you start. Uh, this is your, let me get centered up here. This is scene one, the creation of God of all of life. The God of all of life. It's hard to read upside down. And then, of course, it gives you a little introduction here. Then week one. Day 1, Genesis 1 and 2, Act 1, Scene 1, Reading 1. And so it gives you some details about it here. So this would be what you would read the first day. Here's Genesis 1 through 2. And as you can see, it's single column format, uh, paragraph format. It gives you the number and the book where you're at here. And it tells you the scene at the top and it tells you scene, Act 1, Scene 1, Reading 1. And so you would read this page and this page on the first day. And then you stop. That's the end of that. Then day two, this is week one, day two, you'd read Psalms 8, 104, and John 1, 1 through 3. And then it gives you a little introduction here. And so you'd read the Psalms, and here it is. You don't have to flip to the Psalms. Of course, here's the Psalms. You'll read a couple chapters there. Here's week one. Day three, here's scene two, so you change scenes here. And you go through that and you read this little section right here. And so you get into day four and, and so forth. And, and, it's, and you flip through and it's different places. Like here you'll see you'll read Genesis 8 through 9 then Psalms 12. And so it breaks it up. You're not studying constantly through a, a single book. Uh, some of it you may and some of it you're not, but it's good paragraph format, good size font. The bleed through isn't bad. And so really a nice little study Bible. Now this isn't a, a Bible that you're going to say take to church with you. And when the pastor says turn to uh, John chapter 5, you're not going to be able to find it because the way this is set up, it's broken uh, and your your books of the Bible is not going to be together. It's not It's not something that you're going to use in that way. Uh, here's Act 2 now. And so the Act 2 will go primarily through the, almost the whole whole Bible here. Uh, and so that's kind of the setup of here, and it gives you an introduction to Act 2. And then here's Week 2, Day 1. And so you go through 52 weeks of this. Let me kind of flip through it rather quickly here. And you'll see that there's not there's not any change to any of this. Once you once you start, it's the same format all the way through. See, here's week 23, day two, and you're going right on through, all the way here to the back. Oh, there's a red ribbon. Snuck out on me, didn't it? Okay, so it's got two ribbons: a black, a red one, and a brown one. Here's week 34, day seven, and there we you were in the Psalms. Getting on back here to the back. Here's week 43, day 6. And so this is set up to read the whole Bible in a year. And yet, you can start at any time. You don't have to start on January 1st. See, it's just day 3. You could start this Bible today and go through the 52 weeks. It would make no difference. 7 days in a week, 52 weeks in a year. And so when you get all the way back here, of course, here you're going to be week 52, day one. You'd be reading 1 John, 2 John, 3 John. Getting closer to the back. Now if I can get back here, I wanted to see the last couple of pages here. Okay, so here's the last day, and this is the end of Revelation. And here's day 52, or I'm sorry, week 52, day 7. And this is a summary of, of the whole story. And then, of course, you have a couple of little scripture index pages and a few maps in the back. So definitely, uh, if you're looking at a for a Bible that you want to be able to read chronologically through it in a year, this is definitely worth your time. 
Uh, it's the Christian Standard Bible, so it's easy to read, easy to understand. It's a very good translation. I like the Christian Standard Bible. And so this is my review on it. I think that there's nothing about this one I would change. I prefer this one. I like this one. Uh, this is actually going to be a keeper for me. I will actually sit down and read this one uh, front to back chronologically, and it'll be very uh, beneficial. Uh, so hopefully this has helped. Hopefully that... Uh, you know, maybe if this is one you see at your bookstore and you're thinking about getting one that you can read chronologically, maybe this is the one for you. So hopefully uh, you'll subscribe to my YouTube channel and you'll like this uh, review and all that and we will catch you next time. Thanks.